Today I'm reviewing the Pro Head Mounts for the Oculus Quest 2 from MVH Studios and you will find a product page link in the description. On my table are a few bits and pieces, so not to get things confusing here, the Pro Head Mount Kit is just the replacement head strap and the packet which contains a USB charging cable and some adhesive foam pieces. If you struggle with comfort issues, with the Quest 2 feeling heavy being pulled into your face with the stock elastic head strap and that tight feeling around the back of your head, then the Pro Mounts is here to offer the solution to relieve these problems and will still keep the visor planted in place, but minus the irritation and fatigue of having your head squeezed. I absolutely love my Quest 2 and I've been using it pretty much every day since I bought it, with the only negative being that elasticated strap that comes with the Quest 2. After about 15 or 20 minutes it becomes quite uncomfortable for me and I'm constantly scratching the back of my head and adjusting the straps. Since installing the Pro head mount, all the problems I experienced before are now a thing of the past. The weight of the headset feels evenly distributed, it's just more balanced, without feeling any excessive degree of pressure. This has been a total game changer and I'm certainly not going back to that old strap. The improved balance is in part aided by attaching a third party battery pack to the back of the Pro head mount which then acts as a counterweight. This is another great feature of the Pro head mount and quite frankly extending the battery life of the Quest 2 is an essential upgrade. What you can see me using here is their universal battery mount but when you buy your own Pro head mount from MVH Studios you will get a choice between picking between the universal mounts here or a special mount designed for Anker branded batteries or sp specifically let me say is a particular model of Anker battery which is a popular choice among Quest users. I don't have one of those batteries so I'm using the universal battery mounts and I must admit it's doing a great job, I've got no problems, it holds the battery in place and it just works really well and uh, don't forget when you buy the Pro head mounts that kit includes includes a USB cable for connecting your battery to the Quest. I think that's another nice little touch which they could have easily left out but they have included it and I think that's pretty cool. Installation is meant to be straightforward but I initially experienced difficulty sliding on the arms. I found the fittings to be very tight, in fact too tight, even when exerting a lot of force. That did concern me and I did decide not to proceed until using a file to remove some material. The arms are 3D printed and the very nature of 3D printed parts means the measurements that come off the printer bed, that final product, may not be exact because um, yes there will be a little bit of shrinkage when the plastic cools down and potentially between different batches of um, the, the filament used those tolerances will be different as well. So although I had a bit of a problem, it doesn't necessarily mean you will if you buy this product. So don't worry too much. You may have to do what I did. You may not. It's a bit of a gamble. Once I had the arms fitted, the rest is simple. We reattached this to the head mounts and it's just the task of fine tuning the various adjustment points, which will take a few minutes of making adjustments, trying it on and tweaking it until you're happy with the fit. I found this very easy and it didn't take long to dial it in at all, um, probably a couple of minutes on my first go. In fact, it's quite forgiving. I tried various positions of the straps and the arms and the results were fine in most configurations. So it's worth experimenting even if it seems good as you may discover a further small adjustment just nails it. The adhesive foam padding I would say is optional and you may not find it essential. I initially used the Pro Head Mount without any padding and it still felt perfectly comfortable to me um, but I installed the pieces as they are included in the kit. The fit and feel felt about the same to me with or without the foam padding installed. I do have one tip to pass on that came directly from MVH Studios and this is an adjustment I needed to do for myself. Initially I found the head mount was too tight on the sides with pressure points on either side squeezing my head which wasn't comfortable. 
and there is a simple tweak you can do by taking out the spacers and moving them to the outside of the arm. I imagine a lot of people will need to do this as I wouldn't say I have a large head. Once you've tightened the screws, everything remains uh, very much in place as it did before. So making this adjustment in no way affected the performance of the Pro Head Mount. This is a characteristic I really like about the Pro Head Mount. You dial in your personalized fitting and it stays locked in. So there's no messing around the next time you pick up the headset, you just shove it on your head and you're ready to go. Um, I had no problems at all hitting the sweet spot and maintaining it even during very active gaming sessions such as playing Pistol Whip. The Pro Head Mount gives the Quest 2 great stability without ever feeling pressure on the facial interface or around my head. My Quest 2 just rests against my face, it's very very light feeling. Um, yeah, it's just like wearing a custom molded helmet. It's just very comfortable and for VR, poor comfort is a deal breaker for immersion if you're constantly reminded that you have something squeezing your head and this basically solves that issue completely. I can wear this for hours on end and having the battery pack on the back, I often spend two to three hours or more in VR with no problems. Of course, the Pro Head Mount does add some extra bulk to the footprint of the Quest, but not in any measurable amount of additional weight that you'll notice, but we do have a larger overall size. That's fine for me as I just haul it around the house, but it's no longer a compact package that's easy to pack up uh, for transporting around. So for me, that's the only compromise. It's less convenient for that, but I do think it's worth that price. The upgrade over the elastic strap is massive. It is a much nicer headset to use with the Pro Head Mount. If you're a serious Quest 2 user, you do owe it to yourself to ditch that elastic strap and get this. I don't know how well this compares to the Elite Strap or any other third party head strap. And frankly, I don't really care. And I have no plan to find out at this point because I can't see how any other head strap could outperform the Pro Head Mount. It does such a great job and the price is really fair. It's half the price of the Elite Strap. Plus we have the additional feature of the battery mounting point integrated into the design. I'm surprised other third party head straps haven't adopted this simple solution as it is a critical advantage that makes the Pro Head Mount better than the competition, regardless of any other comparable features. The Pro Head Mount has impressed me, so I'm going to continue using it, as it does a fantastic job. And I think we'll wrap up this review on that note. So I hope you found this useful. Thank you very much for watching and supporting my channel. Take care and bye bye.